I'm Harry Lewis, and I'm standing in the science and engineering complex of the Harvard Paulson School of Engineering and Applied Sciences in Alston, Massachusetts. And I'm standing in front of the Aiken IBM Automatic Sequence Controlled Calculator, better known as the Harvard Mark I. The Harvard Mark I was an early electromechanical computer built in the 1940s, the early 1940s. And when I say it's electromechanical, what that means is that it's full of gears and motors and cams and levers. This was like a huge mechanical calculator, except that the sequence of operations that it was to perform, what we would today call the program, was punched into paper tape and could be executed automatically. Add these two numbers, divide by this number, and so on. So this machine was used for printing tables of the values of numbers. It was also used for ballistics calculation. It was used for some of the early calculations in the Manhattan Project in the design of the atomic bomb. So what does the Mark I physically consist of? These are their registers. Each one contains one decimal digit, and the, those wheels would all turn independently and accumulate values as arithmetic operations were being carried out. The dials with the knobs on them are where you could put in a constant. So you can see each one is a little knob and it has 10 positions. If your program required a value of pi, let's say, you could dial the, the, the values of the constants in there. The program was on paper tape, and the, the, the punched paper tape would just be scotch taped together to make a continuous loop. And then finally, these electric typewriters were used to print the output. So this is the Harvard Mark I computer. It was a marvel of its time. It made all kinds of calculations possible that would have been extremely time consuming to do but you have more computing power than this machine by a factor of thousands in the wristwatch on your wrist.